you guys remember when this channel was just Jacqueline Vlogs and I would sit down and talk to you about stuff I had weighing on me, on my mind, a lot of drunk videos. <laughs> I feel like this channel has gotten away from that and on purpose. I changed it to Jacqueline and David vlogs when David and I started dating. And now that we, you know, got married, we changed it to Frank family vlogs. And now after that, we have a baby and everything is changing. But I used to just sit here and talk about things. And right now, y'all are gonna make fun of me for why. I am feeling a little bit sad and emotional. And I promised myself that I would not cry already failing. I wanted to not be too emotional during this because I don't want to embarrass myself. Ash is now five months old. He'll be six months old February 25th. I don't know when I post this video, but as of right now, he's freshly five months old and I have been procrastinating on something for a while. And that is cleaning out all of his clothes that no longer fit him. I had to take a bunch of the stuff that I have all these memories attached to, and I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I'm like a very sentimental person. And I have this like pile of clothes that um, I have to put in a box and put away. Um, so I'm gonna go through this and try my very best not to cry, but it's a good sad. It's like a happy memories sad, but then I guess also not happy in the sense that those memories are passing and he's growing up. So this is his closet right now. These are all the clothes that he has yet to wear and will be growing into. I remember when I was pregnant and um, doing our nursery tour, I was really excited about all of these, all these outfits and stuff that I had. Oh, show the closet. The closet's one of my favorite parts. So we have some cool stuff. We got some outfits that he's almost big enough to wear. Some of them he didn't get to wear. I feel pretty bad about that. But here we go. Let's just start. I'm gonna just dump everything out. Oh my gosh, it's fine. It wasn't organized to begin with anyway. I'm showing you guys stuff that I want to remember forever. Oh, okay. So immediately I see something that is special. So this cute outfit, this onesie is, uh, I remember I was in labor at the hospital and I wanted to snuggle a onesie so because sad. I wanted to keep my mind on the positive, the excitement of, of holding my baby and meeting him for the first time. And so I wanted to kind of clutch onto this onesie and uh, yeah, he's way too big for it now, so. I have to put it away in a box. His first little Hanukkah zip up sleeper. Now I just want to take the time to say that like, I love things that zip. I, snaps are not my friend. This is another zipper sleeper that was really cute. He looked so cute wearing this. I don't know if I'm gonna like, you know, nothing in life is promised to you or guaranteed to you. I don't know what my future holds. I don't know if I'll have another baby. I hope so, that's the plan. But you never know what's gonna happen to you in life. You know, anything could happen or not happen. So it's hard to make assumptions. And then on top of that, I don't know if it's gonna be a girl or a boy if I do have another one. So I feel like some of these things are just gonna be put in a box and never seen again. And that's kind of sad. Like this one, what do I... <laughs> this one, I just, I thought he was so cute in this. Oh, well, here's a first Christmas outfit that I never got to put on him. Oops. This is what he had on when he sat in Santa's grandpa, Santa's lap for the first time. Cute little onesie. Hi, Angel. Yeah. I'm so disorganized and going out of order with a lot of these, but a lot of first Halloweens. Oh, I love this outfit. My first Hanukkah. Lots of first Hanukkah outfits. And my first Hanukkah on it has got little ears. It's <laughs> this is how I roll. Everybody loved his Hanukkah outfits, by the way. The little pants had dreidels on the butt, so everybody <laughs> was calling them dreidel butt. New Year's with his sparkle pants. Oh. <laughs> I thought this outfit was so cute. Oh, it, with these little pants. I remember, oh, it does have it. There's a little poop stain. <laughs> Leave it up to me to cry about a poop stain. Can you see it? I tried really hard to get it out, but I'm kind of glad I didn't get it all. 
There's a little poo poo stain right there. I, uh, I, I, for some reason, wanted to get him dressed up really cute for his one month pediatrician checkup, and he pooped all up the back of this outfit before we even got in the room and I had to clean it. But I remember in the car on the way there, I was so excited about having him dressed up. I feel like he looks extra cute today. I got him all dressed up. He's got some little pants on, little socks on, looking real handsome. He's back here working on a poop. You pooping? Yeah. And his little poo poo stain is still there. Oh, this is so embarrassing. I shouldn't even post this video. This is the outfit we brought him home in. We uh, put him in this on our way out of the hospital and put him in his car seat and took him home. videos of him and Nala meeting for the first time and he had this on, but... It smells good too. Do other parents feel this way? Is it like sad to put away their clothes? That's depressing, right? <laughs> Another cute little outfit. We did a lot of tummy time in this. I, I think I remember some videos of him in this doing tummy time. So this outfit, this outfit is um, the first outfit we bought we found out we were having a boy and we went out and we bought this, but we forgot to put it on him until way too late. So the pictures of him in this are actually really funny. Um, so, oh well, still sentimental though. So we spent way too much on this too. We bought this at a shop in LA and it was super overpriced, but I thought my baby needs this. He needs this $70 outfit. We got this outfit at a Target in LA, also shopping when we were excited that we had a boy and it didn't have a price tag on it, so they gave it to us for free. So this is my free Target outfit that he actually didn't like this one. He, it actually, like this like collar thing, he didn't really like it. Oh well, it was free. My first Thanksgiving little hat. It feels like I'm adorable and I know it. <laughs> Look at mom. It's like mom, they're blinking lights. It is a little addictive, I agree. <laughs> he wore this on Thanksgiving. Came with a cute little turkey hat. Thank you, Paul and Morgan, for giving us this. They also gave us this one uh, that he wore a lot during Christmas. And um, <laughs> they gave us this, all of God's grace in one little face. Oh, goodness. All of God's grace in one little face. Oh. Right. Thank you. <laughs> I think I might send this back to them now that she's pregnant. Congrats to them, by the way. I know they were really hoping for that. When they visited us, um, she was at her wit's end trying to get pregnant, and I'm sure that was really stressful, so I'm happy that that happened for her. Oh, his Christmas outfit. I feel like this just happened, but this is such a special one. Dad, did Santa come? I don't know. Did Santa come? I don't know. Oh my gosh, let's go run out and see if Santa came. Woo! He's a little slow. Oh my gosh. And also the little booties that come with it. And then this I'm gonna treasure forever. His little hat. I think my first Christmas hat is still somewhere around here. My dad has it, but this is so special. Halloween outfits. Gosh, there's a lot of Halloween outfits. I put them in this one a lot. I thought this one was just so cute. So he finishes eating and then I burp him. And a lot of times he'll just pass out on me like, like this after he's done burping. It's just so cute. The snores. His candy corn one was so cute. Oh man. Uh, this um this one is the outfit that he wore at the hospital when we did his very first like little photo shoot at the hospital. He had this on with this little hat. This wouldn't even fit his head now. He's getting so big. This is a really special one. I hate that I'm putting him away. <laughs> oh. oh, this is some good comedic relief. Okay, so this little lumberjack outfit, we decided we want like professional family photos. 
we went and we had like matching plaid shirts and he wore that but the pictures all came out so bad um they were pretty bad <laughs> we thought we were gonna get something really cute and we're so excited to get our pictures and then we got some where he was making like this face and i was just like oh no none of them were really usable i think i posted one on instagram that uh, it just didn't it didn't work out <laughs> happy little star i did his one month photos in this little space onesie lots of tummy time in this i remember putting him in this for so many different things, I remember putting him in this. This is not a boomerang. This is just your new form of entertainment, which is just staring. Mm. Oh, you gonna poop a little? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that was yeah, that was perfect timing, my little dude. <laughs> but anyways, just stare at his, just stare at his little face. Oh, I love you. You're just like your father. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> He's so much bigger than this now. <laughs> this was cute. Highly recommend to anybody um, that's having a, a little one. Uh, it's like a little bear swaddle. So cute. Oh, we did it. I think this is the outfit we put him in at the end of my pregnancy video that we did. And we, we brought him home and he was very, very little. I remember the day I couldn't fit him in this anymore and I um I just kind of kept it in the drawer anyway because I didn't want to put it away because he loved that he would wear that almost every day I have lots of cute pictures of him in this lots of cute video of him in this a little onesie with a hood and some ears <laughs> pretty cute David got me this as a Christmas gift I stuffed it with red and green tissue paper because I wanted to feel like holding a baby but it says made in the Maldives since we uh, got pregnant on our honeymoon. And that, this was such a special gift. Definitely too small now. <laughs> Cute memories in this. <laughs> I love this onesie. <laughs> what? <laughs> what seems to be the problem? <laughs> You're crying. I'm crying. Right, one more photo shoot. <laughs> this outfit, um, I gave this to David for Father's Day. And uh, this is the first outfit that David put on Ash by himself. He's done many since then, don't worry. Um, but this was his Father's Day gift. I was still pregnant and he put it on him. This was his first one. He did it. <laughs> I can do it. Yes. Come on, little arm. Arm. Snap. Snap. He did it. He did it. There's so many outfits here that like he wore that I have memories of him wearing. Hi! 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 Oh my hi. gosh, you just said hi back. This glows in the dark. And it's just, I guess it's just hard for me to put them away, not knowing if I'll ever need any of these again. And they were just all like things that I have attached so much like sentimentality and emotion to that it's just, I don't know, kind of depressing to close up a box of baby clothes. But I am thankful for all the memories that they created and who knows if I'll need to use them again one day. You never know. But anyway, those are all of his little outfits. I have to go get a bigger box, I think. But I just, I don't know. I knew this was going to be hard for me because when I was originally emptying out my drawers, because we were adding in other outfits, obviously, as he gets bigger, we were adding in other outfits. And that drawer was just getting overflowed with stuff that wouldn't, you know, go in there anymore because I was using all the space for clothes that were too small for him because I didn't want to put them away because I knew it was going to make me sad. And then I actually took them out and in the moment of taking them out to put them in this room, I was sad. <laughs> David's had to deal with all my emotions all over the place and now you know I'm gonna finally close up the box and put it away which is sad <laughs> I don't know do other parents feel this shit is it always gonna be like this am I I mean like I cried when he had his first giggle I cried the other day he rolled over all by himself and I actually caught it on camera <laughs> Yeah. 
I know I'm gonna lose it when he walks. Every little thing makes me cry and I never thought I would be this person. You know, my grandma would cry at every little sentimental thing and I have actually a lot of family that does that. Maybe it's genetic. <laughs> Sorry, Ash. But I always like saw that and appreciated it but never thought that I would be like that, that I would cry at everything like, I remember I would give my grandma like a birthday card and just the card alone, she would just be like, oh, and cry. And I'm like, oh, grandma, you know, never thinking that would be me, but uh, here we are. I don't know, he's just getting so big so fast. And I like, everyone says, oh, it goes so fast. And he's only five months old, right? So I'm gonna look at this in 10 years, 20, 30, 40 years and be like, oh my God, you have a five month old. But um, I just, God, I already feel that. I already feel that. I'm already kind of sad for, you know, the two month old that I had. And, the newborn that I had, he's big, he's so big already. And like in a, in a few days, I think we're gonna start him on solid foods, just like slowly introducing. I think it's like a rice cereal and then eventually an oatmeal cereal thing. And I feel oddly competitive with rice <laughs> and oatmeal because he's been solely breastfeeding and only needing me for his entire life so far. And um, it's just another another stage of him growing up and getting bigger. and. I just feel like it's flying by, you know? It's confusing, it's a lot and overwhelming and I guess I just wanted to make a video thinking of the memories that I had in some of these outfits before I put them away and it may seem small and silly and I need to quit apologizing for my emotions but um, it's just something I wanted to remember and before I put it away, just kind of send it off with happy memories even though I'm crying, they're happy. Thanks for watching and bearing with me through this. Give this video a like. It actually really does make a huge difference. I would love for this channel to be more successful. I, I really like appreciate having this. It's, it's so many things. It's like a storage space for memories and it's also uh, sharing our life with people that have come to care about us and support us. So I just thank you guys for being here and uh, yeah, share this video. Let's try to like get this channel going. Thank you to everybody supporting us over on Patreon. It actually makes a huge difference because I think we actually spend more on the, the videos and stuff that we make on this channel than we actually make from this channel, which makes it not sustainable, but I just, I love it so much that I, I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't care. <laughs> so thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you can relate to any of this, I would love to hear about it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.